All right, welcome back. Local film critic Del Pollock is back with us on this Saturday morning. Good morning to you, long time no see. I know, Devontae. Great to be back with you. First movie this morning I want to talk about is Ready or Not. Well, I'm going to talk about something this morning, and that's the use of profane language in a movie. Uh -huh. I mean, Ready or Not is a comedy horror film. It is as gory as it gets, and it's the oldest idea in the world. Kind of the last game, one person is hunted down by a group of other people at a gathering. So we've seen that a million times right. before. But when every other word is the F word, uh -oh. and you begin to wonder, is this screenwriting or is this just profanity? Mm -hmm. And the acting isn't terrible on this. Samar Weaver is actually pretty good, and so are the other cast members. And there's a kind of humor, sick humor to it. But the main thing is there's no dialogue other than cursing. And I mean that for about 90% of the dialogue. And I don't know if I've ever actually seen that in a movie really? before. So I'm not sure you get a written by credit. You should get a cursed by a credit. credit. Uh-oh. <laughs> it seems like that could be a big risk to take, especially with the movie. I, I think so, although, you know, this film has gotten good reviews from horror film buffs. Uh -huh. I'm not sure it's for anybody else. What about Good Boys? Well, Good Boys was the number one movie last year, last week, and you see why. It's already up above $30 million now and it only costs 20 The three kids are really good, yeah. particularly Jacob Tremblay, who played the lead in Room and was the amazing kid under all that makeup in The Wonder. And then um, Keith L. Williams, who has been on Last Man on Earth, and he is terrific. But once again, Keith, Seth Rogen, who produced this movie, said, we want to make an R-rated movie in which kids cuss all the time, and they can't even get in to see the film they're cussing in. So these kids couldn't go to the premiere of this R-rated movie. And once again, you're saying, this is what you're doing with young actors? It seemed like every other line was profane. Why do you think that is? It's easy. It's the easiest thing in the world to do it takes no effort whatsoever to write sure. that kind of dialogue or to say that kind of dialogue which means you're not trying hard enough movies should aspire a little higher mm -hmm. I mean I don't mind rolling around in the gutter but I don't want to live there right right is there anyone which one would you choose if you had to pick oh good boys is more entertaining but again it depends on your age group um, you know I wouldn't recommend ready or not for anybody under 18 Wow Dale thank you so much great to see you and of course if you want more movies and reviews from Dale you can head to his website that of course Dale and Pollock .com.